Operation Pets and Vets is on now here at KSLX. If you've been listening to the morning show, Mark and Neander Paul raising money for people like Jonathan, vets, and puppies, just like Anubis. Oh, now he's getting a little sleepy, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 72 Sold is one of our sponsors for the program. Destry is here. Isn't this a fun shoot? It really is. It's so great to meet, of course, both of these great, great, great people and, and dog, and also contribute and help this program that's helping so many veterans. We've talked about how it's roughly, what, $5,000, Jonathan, to train a dog to assist you. Yes, ma'am. And so the goal has always been 20,000. Mark and Neander Paul have always beaten that goal, right? right. We're counting on you because the deadline is this Friday. Yeah, and 72 Sold, of course, is contributing up to $5,000, so that's one dog, and we're happy to do so. But for people out there, explain how the program works. So the program works, uh, first the veteran comes in and requests an application. From there, uh, once the whole process is completed, they uh, start training or we look for a dog. If a veteran brings in their dog into the program, we do a temperament and a medical evaluation. And uh, if they're requesting one, at that point, we go and search all of Arizona uh, rescues and or shelters to find a suitable dog for them. Which is such a win-win, you know? Okay. I mean, the dog gets a home, you get a, really a life-changing situation, right? What, how has he changed your life? So with Anubis, uh, for him, what he's done for me is allowed me to go out into public places to do, you know, speaking, talk to other people, but also experience things that I normally wouldn't do, like with my kids, go to Disneyland, to the Renaissance Festival and stuff like that. And he brings a sense of security for myself. And tell us your story and how you came into the program. So I, I came into the program uh, when I first got out of the military. I was one of the, the veterans that just goes from job to job to job, just not really having a sense of purpose. And then I did have a service dog. At that point, she had passed away in 2020. So I really knew what I was missing. Um, so I started searching other organizations um, for um, a service dog and to be able to help me to give that sense of normal sleep back in my life. And that's where I found Soldier's Best Friend. And Soldier's Best Friend is who our program benefits. Good and they course. do such amazing work, as you can tell by this oh, beautiful yeah. dog yeah. right here. What are some of the things that he does to help you? You were showing some of the tricks, which you can mm -hmm. see on Instagram, mm -hmm. too. But tell me about what, what are some of the things he does to help you? So what he'll do is um, when I start having real high anxiety or PTSD moments, uh, he'll do what's called deep body pressure therapy. Uh, for his command, it's called PUSH. And push just allows me to focus my attention on him, to pet him. But also when I'm out in crowds, he'll do what's called orbit and circle around me and give me that safe space from crowds and stuff like that too. And has the most beautiful brown eyes. Can I just throw that <laughs> oh, in? Yeah. I don't know so if you're cute. seeing that on video. Well, Not we really. hope that you'll make donations. In fact, right now at kslx.com, you can make a donation. And thanks to 72 Sold and your whole crew for well, helping us. We are so happy to help. And we really want everyone else to join in and help out too. But you only have until the end of the week, right? Yep, it ends on Friday. So be listening each weekday morning. And thanks to Jonathan and yeah, the puppy. Thanks, Jonathan Absolutely. and Oedipus. Good point.